Guys, we are on the brand new Pokemon game. If you want to know how you can install it, check out the link down below in the description of my friend's video. He did it. That being said, I'm really excited about this. We're covering our first impressions. This is Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket or Pokemon TCG Pocket. And let's go ahead and dive in. So basically, this is a... I don't want to say like collection game, but it kind of is. It's going to really, really appeal to people that want to collect these Pokemon cards and alternate arts and things like that. They also have arts that are, I believe are exclusive to this game. That's going to be happening a ton. So keep that in mind. However, I do think they will probably at some point do some sort of, if they haven't already announced it anyway, probably do some sort of like cross collaboration where the arts from this game are put out and then they also send people to download the game, etc. So that would just make the most sense in my opinion. So all in all, let's go ahead and open a pack to get things started we'll cover a lot of the game as well here on the channel so if you want to see more you know what to do make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if this is your first time here what are you doing 80 percent of viewers haven't subscribed make sure you join that 20 all right so you get to pick which pack you want you can also turn them around to open them from behind so you can see the back of the cards i think that's such a nice little touch all right so we're gonna pick uh this this one looks like it's a lucky one to me all right this one looks lucky to me. Oh, I should have turned it around, but it's all right. It doesn't really matter. You just see the back of the cards. Either way, it still goes in basically the same order from what I've seen. All right, Cliff Fairy, Heliolisk, Pichurinin, Pichurinin, Ooh, Leo, Ulo, Ooh, Ooh, Ex Arcanine. Yo, let's go. Let's go, bro. Look at him. Look at him. All right. That's my first time pulling anything of note at all. So that's really cool. I'm super duper excited. Hit that thumbs up. Let's get the video up to 800 likes for our goal today. Post down below in the comments your best and most successful pull thus far. All right. So that is a nice, nice, nice start for us here. So we've got 21 cards in our decks. So. We're making our way up, right? <laughs> so these ones will get registered. So you got 21 out of 226. That definitely won't be a long journey, right? I did pull that Charmander before, but I assume that everyone got this card, right? I assume everyone did. It was part of the tutorial, so I, I assume. Anyway, anyway, so there's quite a bit. Actually, there's 286, so keep that in mind. Obviously, that will be expanded in the future, so you never actually will complete this dex. If you run out of pack stamina, you can open any pack until your stamina has recovered. You can't open any. Let's try reducing recovery time with pack hourglasses. Okay, so the way that this game works is it gives you free packs, but only when the stamina is completed. At the very top, it's got that 12-hour timer basically there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's just whenever you're going to get your pack. So that should amount to two in a 24-hour period. Basically, for most people, that's one a day because people are going to be hard-pressed to log in every 12 hours on the dot. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. But nonetheless, though, there's kind of a bit more to this. We're going to open a pack here now. One pack hourglass reduces the time of the packs by one hour. So this is where you get into a little bit of this game's, like, gotcha mechanic-ish stuff with some of these items. And there's also apparently a paid currency we'll talk about a little bit, too. You can get these in a variety of ways, like when increasing your player level or as mission rewards, you can use them as soon as you get them. That's nice. When you subscribe to the premium pass, you can open one more pack every day. Damn, right out the gate with it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not mad. I am somebody that spent a lot and played a lot on Gacha games. So that, I mean, that don't really bother me much. But I'm sure for some of you guys, it might, right? So especially if you're like a younger uh, player, things like that. But hopefully we can get a good pack. Okay, I guess we'll just take this one. I got to look at the offering rates, though, because that does matter a lot. All right, that Pokeball is crisp, bro. That Pokeball is super duper crisp. That Pokeball looks nice. It's a minor thing, right? But it's, it looks nice, okay? Dang it. Dang it. Cottony looked pretty good. Ah, oh, nothing. But again, the good news is they're all registered in my decks, right? <laughs> all ones I didn't have. So we're at that stage of the game where, like, you don't need this stuff, but technically nothing is bad right like everything's good at least for that base you know condition so it is what it is i know that some of you guys also want to see more of the gameplay stuff so don't worry we'll get to that as well so just get your popcorn 
Make sure your butt is nice and warm and watch the video. That was very assertive of me. I'm not normally that assertive. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever... I've done thousands of videos. I don't know that I've ever said something like that before. I apparently feel really good today. All right. So let's see the offering rates. I'm really curious about that. That was something I was wondering about. Regular pack and rare packs. You have a 0.05% chance at a rare pack? What? What's the actual pull rate on something like that in real life? I got to know. Card inclusions for regular packs. Uh, card inclusion probability rate for the first to third cards. So the first three cards are... Okay. Let me see the other two then. Ah, so what? But the fourth and fifth cards is where you start getting higher rarity stuff. There's some really cool stuff in here. I mean, look at this art. Can I see it? I can't pull it up. I can't pull it up. That's such a shame, dude. Mewtwo, Pikachu, EX, alternate Pikachu, EX. There. Oh, that's the Arcanine I just got, but not the same one, right? I got the different art. That's cool. Yeah, I got this one down here. I didn't get the. I just. I didn't get the. I didn't get the nice one. I think it's a nice one, but okay. It's all right. At least I got one. <laughs> and then they have the five star and beyond. 0 0.1. Whew. Whew. Boy, that's brutal. That's brutal. I think the pack chance thing at the top that we were reading, the 0 0.05 is because it pulls up like 10 packs when you, when you try to open one, right? That's probably where that is. All right. So you can reduce time with Poke Gold to buy 10 packs. Poke Gold. Let's go here. Let's go to the shop and see what they're talking about over here. I just wanted to know. Let's see what they're talking about here. So here's the premium pass. You can open one more pack every day and get many other great benefits. Okay. You can take on premium missions. Premium missions will be unlocked by taking on these missions. You can get promo cards and other items. Okay. Yeah. First two weeks are no cost. Okay. I'm sure this is like five to ten dollars, probably ten. It's showing twenty dollars in New Zealand. Uh, I don't know what that converts to for me. I'm not in New Zealand. <laughs> you have to kind of like do some weird stuff like that, you know, if uh, if you're outside of New Zealand. So for me, maybe you guys can tell me. Maybe it is actually twenty dollars in USD. I don't know, but what's the USD value of that? All right, so let's see. Um, I wanted to get out of here. It's unfortunate I only opened Pikachu packs earlier today. I'd like to open a different pack next time, but I guess I'll have to wait on that. All right. So let's go over to talk about Wonder Pick. Wonder Pick apparently is a really interesting system. So basically the way that they describe this, in fact, I can just show you the tutorial for this. In Wonder Pack, you can get one of the cards chosen randomly from a booster pack that was opened by another player. That player will not lose any cards, so they're not stealing your card or anything like that. Wonder Picks are updated at regular intervals. Booster packs opened by your friends may also appear as Wonder Picks. Try to check in regularly to see what's next. Wonder Picking requires Wonder Stamina, which recovers over time. You can reduce the time it takes until Wonder Stamina recovers by using the items. There are also special kind of Wonder Picks that can appear like Bonus Picks and Chancy Picks. An expired Wonder Pick can be made available again by using a rewind watch. So I've got all these stamina's full, I guess, up here. And here's a look at basically a pack that some other players have opened. And you get to roll that pack and see if you can get that card. Oh, that ditto looks awesome. Should I try to get the ditto over there? That ditto looks awesome. Can restore these days if they've expired, okay? So with, with this, like if you've got friends that open a lot of packs maybe some of their good packs if they got really lucky or whatever would show here this one costs three stamina to, okay probably because that ditto there all right so this is how it looks they shuffle the cards and you pick one. <laughs> oh, oh, this is how i got the charmander the charmander was the rare one but i'm not sure if that was like a guaranteed thing or not i chose bottom left for that i'll choose top center where was it where was it where was it? <laughs> I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, it was in the top corner. Oh, that's brutal. Send a thanks. Nah, I ain't no sending no god dang thanks to you. Whatever, I'll be nice. Oh, man. 
I wonder if there's anything expired that I can run. Because I didn't really care much. Oh, that. That classic Hippo Chan there. I might want that. I mean, I'm still at a point where I need everything anyway, like I said a second ago. So, it also kind of doesn't matter. You know where this is really cool is if you're looking for, like, a specific card for your deck. I'm still at the collection phase. Like, I'm not really worried about that individually right now. Already picked. So brutal, man. So brutal. So brutal. Do I even have the item for this? I do have one. I have one of the stopwatches. I'll save it. I'm not going to use it on any of these. I'll save it. What are the chances that the cost goes up from being one, though? Do I need the Helioptile? I think I do, right? I'm pretty sure I don't have it. I'll run it, whatever. What else was here, an Ivysaur? I think I saw an Ivysaur. Let's go here this time. Hey, nice. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, whatever. That's, that was that was worth it, I'll take it. And then I wonder how fast it, the stamina recovers. Once again, if you're watching the video and you're enjoying it, if you made 11 minutes in, you're enjoying the video. You can't fight it, you can't deny it. Like the video, I appreciate it. Help us set our goal, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I will send DJ Karma or Krama uh, thanks there because he actually helped your boy out. Um, every 12 hours you get one of these. Man, this game has some fat timers on it. 12 hours is a long time. Until full recovery is freaking two days. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. 12 hours each makes sense. <laughs> Looks like you have extra three. I, I bet that's from like the subscription pack or something like that. Uh, Well, I guess I'll sit on this for now. I don't know how often they refresh this or not. But they also are kind of cheap, like I said, because they're not all one cost. As we saw with the ditto, that ditto ate a three. That's kind of brutal. All right, so we got some hourglasses. Can I use those pack glasses to... Unlock one of these? Let's see if I can open a Mewtwo pack. And then we'll finally start looking at the gameplay. <laughs> I know it's been a while. 20 points. You accumulate pack points by using pack stamina. Is this a pity system? You can exchange a set amount of pack points for the card of your choosing. It is a pity system. Okay. Opening booster packs of a given expansion earns you pack points for that expansion. Those points can be exchanged only for cards that appear in that expansion. Lame. Pity does not transfer. 500 points. Goodness. Pity doesn't transfer. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> so basically what that means is that when you get these points, they'll only be usable here. Some games in my opinion the better games make it to where you can use it on whatever banner like you could save for another you know expansion or banner or whatever it's called in this game an expansion is a group of similarly labeled booster packs okay so yeah they 500 for the big boys here i can actually see the arts here now though or not you you can't let me see the card art you can't let me see the card art <laughs> you really you really you really won't let me see the card art damn the hell Dude, so gatekeepy. They are so gatekeeping. <laughs> they are not letting me see it. That's crazy. I can open one pack here. Okay. Actually, I think I can open a couple. I can open three, it looks like. All right. I don't want that. I don't want the slide. Come to Papa, Mewtwo. Oh, Dratini looks so cute. <laughs> Weedle. And Rhydon. Okay. Man, those those go so fast. Just five cards go so fast. I didn't even get the chance to, like, hype and get built up. Five cards just go so quickly. All right, let's open another one. Legit. Don't even get the chance to get excited. There's going to be some sort of, like, special animation on one of these packs. Like, it's going to shine or something to signify a higher rarity pull. That's a pretty common thing. Master Duel does it. Um, uh, other games that are like this do it. So, we'll see. I'll pick this one. 
Krabby, Venonat, Sand Slash, Weedle again, Pinsir. Ah, no, no dupes. No dupes. It's mostly dupes. No dupes. Let's open up Charizard pack then. Although, I have to actually check out the gameplay because, I mean, dupes traditionally are not a bad thing, but in gameplay, I don't know the format for the deck and all that stuff. Oh, I don't have any more. Oh, that's brutal. I thought I did. Well, I guess we're done for now. They will give me more, though. I just got to actually start playing, so. Leveled up. Nice. Just from opening packs. And I unlocked the battle feature and deck missions. Oh, okay. Battle has been unlocked. You can try your hand at battling with cards you've collected. Okay. Let's do it. First, let me claim the missions that we have. <laughs> I actually technically got enough to do another another pull if I wanted to do that. What were these? These were the hourglasses, right? For wonder? Okay. You reduced the time for wonder. Okay, that's cool. I'm not worried about that right now, though. I'll look at that a little bit later. We got the daily reward, which is another hourglass. This one is for pack hourglasses. Okay, you get four of those. That's, that's that's decent. I could open a few packs now where I couldn't, you know, couldn't literally a second ago. All right, let's go to battle. Here you can battle against AI opponents or players from around the world. Let's start by checking out the rules in the guide. With the guide, you can learn the rules while participating in battle. Try progressing all the way through the part from zero to six. Oh, man. You'll receive a deck once you've completed part six of the battle guide of all of your Pokemon. Play your way through the battle guide to receive other rewards like hourglasses. I was wondering about the deck thing. I was like, so like, <laughs> what are we doing about a deck here? Because like, <laughs> I don't have enough cards. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's start battling. Yeah. Is it just standard format? Is it? It just looks, what, a little smaller here? Uh, cards not only for collecting, they can be used for battle. Take a look at the Pikachu. Yeah, I see it. HP, yeah. The attack, okay. You and your opponent's Pokemon battle one another as they try to knock out all their Pokemon at once. Blah, 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 blah. In a battle, you'll use cards your opponent, you've collected to face off against your opponent. In this guide, you can battle with cards that have been set up for you. The cards near you are in play, and the cards on the other side are your opponent's in play. This is your active spot, and this is where your Pokemon battle using attacks. Pokemon on the active spot are referred to as Pokemon. Yeah, okay. This is your bench, okay. Pokemon on the bench are referred to as bench Pokemon, okay. This is your deck. Where are the prizes? Hand, where are the prizes? You can have up to 10 cards in your hand, okay. Starting in the next part of the guide, we'll go through the steps of a battle, okay. So they just wanted to show me the stuff, I guess. Prepare for battle. Maybe they'll expand and show prizes, or maybe there are no prizes. I didn't watch, like, much content related to this game prior to it coming out, so I don't really know exactly what they're trying to do. Before starting the battle, let's set up your Pokemon. First, put your Pokemon from your hand in the active spot. All right. Let's play Eevee. Once you're done setting up your active Pokemon, next is setting up your bench. Okay, sure. Okay, let's start. Is that all for that? Okay, okay. hey, that's... I'm not complaining, it was fast. Okay. They're really like, okay. They're gonna shoot you through this because this one's just for an attack. If you're first to reach three points, you win the battle. Oh, that's how it goes. Points are displayed here. I was looking at those circles. Okay. When Pikachu's not attacks and knock out the opponent's Eevee, okay. So you just gotta beat three active Pokemon to win the game? Okay, that's very, very straightforward. Very straightforward. Should also lead to some pretty fast battles. That should lead to some really fast battles. I'm not gonna do the advanced ones right now. I'll come back to those. What do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about that as like an active Poke like some of you guys probably were active TCG players. Let me know. I have not personally been an active TCG player since about 2020. So it's been a bit for me. Uh, and that was because, you know, the stuff happened in the world. And I just kind of never went back. Like, I used to go to tournaments and stuff like that. Local, nothing crazy. But I stopped doing it. <laughs> uh, all right. 
So that's where the energies are. Okay, you don't actually like draw energies? Did I just get that for free? I missed the tutorial. Did they just give you energies for free? You don't actually have to draw them or like put certain ones on. They just give them to you? Is that how that went? <laughs> okay, that's that's interesting if they just flat out give you an energy every turn. I'll have to redo that one, I guess. Or, or we'll, we'll do a live battle and I'll, I'll see it there. Play Pokemon from your hand. Start your turn by drawing a card from your deck. Draw Pikachu. Next energy generated. It does generate. Okay. You can play cards that are in your hand during your turn. Play Pikachu from your hand to the bench. Go, Pikachu! I summon you! Wait, wrong card game. <laughs> I don't play that card game either. Even if your active Pokemon is locked out, you don't need to worry. Okay. I don't want, actually don't want, I want to retreat, baby. Leave! I don't want him to go down. I would never do this in real life. I mean, maybe I would if we were closer and, you know, it would lead me towards winning the game, I guess. But he's just going to go down right here. Why are you going to set me up for failure? I didn't want to give him any points. All right, one point for the opponent. Okay. Please choose a Pokemon to switch in. Let's go, Pikachu. Pika, Pika. All right, current turn five. Bulbasaur. Look at them just snatching my heart with all these Gen 1 Pokemon, man. Look at them snatching my heart, man. They know what they're doing. Only one not here right now is Squirtle. Squirtle's going to be in the next one, isn't he? They know what they're doing, man. And then you know what they would do to get me? What they would do to get me is show me a Typhlosion, man. Ooh, if they show me a Typhlosion, we are cooking. Oh, I wonder if Typhlosion's in the game right now. If Typhlosion is in the game right now, oh my god. Oh, Charizard and Snorlax, okay. Catch an energy to Snorlax. <laughs> He's at 70 already. Coincidentally about to go down. Let's take a closer look at Snorlax. Look at Snorlax's attack. It requires four energy. That's called colorless energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And your turn. Bulbasaur. It just constantly generates electric energies or... <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna ever generate anything else or I don't have to just 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 attack I wanna win just attack What was the point of this one? I didn't get it. What was the point of this? Did it show me the different types of energies? Or like energy costs? Because it didn't show me anything about electric energy. Was I supposed to evolve Pokemon? I didn't Okay, whatever. Alright, let's play! Wait, that wasn't it? Oh, I have one more to do. Okay, one more to do. I was like, wait a minute. Where, what are you talking about evolve Pokemon? Let's try evolving a Pokemon during battle. Take a good look at the cards in your hand. Oh, Charizard with that big old head. Let's say it evolves to from Charmeleon. Okay. Every Pokemon in play, evolve them by putting the evolution of your hand on top of them. Charmeleon evolves to... Charizard! Wait, wrong monster IP. <laughs> Even if a Pokemon evolves, it keeps on. <laughs> Some young people are probably watching me like, what the hell? What is the reference? What is that? <laughs> you can evolve as many Pokemon as you want in your turn, except for your first turn. Okay. Uh, you can't evolve a Pokemon its turn in play, or it's already evolved during the turn. Okay, sure. And we will just blow up the Raichu. A little overkill, you know, but we'll take it. I mean, I'm curious what the advanced ones are. I'm not going to do them, but I mean, the battle format is pretty simple. If you want to learn the rules for advanced players, you can keep progressing through the battle guide. Now you can try your hand at a battle. Let me actually see the guide before we start the battle. Give me my deck. There you go. You'll be giving you your first deck. A deck is made up of a set of 20 cards. Okay, I was wondering about that too. Each player uses a deck to battle. They didn't show anything about like items or trainer cards. I assume that those are probably more so in the guide. I gotta go into the solo battle, okay. Step up battles have different levels of difficulty. Let's start out with beginner, okay. Winning battles will give you experience and items. Let's start off battling against this Ivasaur deck. 
There's also a feature that does the battling for you automatically. There's an auto battle feature. Okay. I love auto in mobile games, contrary to what a lot of people think. I just think it's kind of funny in this game. I don't I don't know that you need it in this game. I mean, it would be nice. It's, it's nice for the grind is what it's good for, right? Yeah, auto is hilarious, dude. No, auto! Dude, I turned it on for a split second and it played a bunch of stuff for me. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I'm being stupid. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> never mind, I'm being stupid. All right, let's see what we have here. Next energy generated, okay. So what are we gonna do? Got a jiggly, ooh, Professor draws two cards. I'm gonna play the Professor, baby. Got a Pokeball. Uh, I don't know what this deck is trying to build to. Like, I don't, I don't really know what this deck's trying to do, so. Guess I'll just attack. I should have actually, actually, you know what I should have done? I didn't realize I had that stupid Scyther back there. That's what I should have done. Forgive any misplays. I don't know what this deck is trying to do, so. <laughs> what it's trying to do is win, right? <laughs> Execute. I wonder if it gives you an energy match in the card you drew. Uh, let's set up. I don't have the Rattata, but I can Pokeball the Rattata, right? Nope. I mean, my deck is super small, so eventually we're gonna hit a, a hit a number here. Uh, we will also put. I mean. Oh, 80 damage? I read that wrong. I was like, wait a minute, what? I don't really want to play anything either. Just gonna take this thing out of here. I don't want to use my last spot there, so. We got Paris. Interesting. I will play Paris then. And do that. Give Paris the energy and we'll swing another sharp side. Now I can see why auto would be on. It's just the board looks so small, man. The board looks crazy small here. I'll actually just evolve. Just setting up my Parasect. We'll swap in next time. One point for me, okay. Oh, Jiggly Jiggly! It's Jiggly Jiggly! Execute with an energy and a pound. Did a decent bit of damage. Ah, uh, another Pokeball, huh? I've got to drop this there. Ah, uh, Pokeball now. We will retreat. And goodbye, Jigglypuff. Go, Parasect! Go! <laughs> Yelling for what? Do you free knock it off? <laughs> Execute? Yeah, that's... I dare you to evolve it. Yes. Okay, oh my god. Seed Bomb. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do about that? What are we going to do about that? Whatever will we do? Whatever will we do? That's fine. I don't care. Whatever what we do, we'll just win the game. <laughs> yeah, baby. That was interesting. Victory. Card of the game. Yeah, Parasect absolutely just swept the game. Card of the game for the opponent was Jigglypuff. Why? Because they got one good hit in? Okay.
First time rewards. Experience. Charmeleon deck. Opponent. Okay. I want to actually see versus. And versus you'll battle other players. We recommend playing solo before you try versus. <laughs> They're like, nah. So apparently there's no uh, ranked PVP in this game. It's just randomized. Or a private one if you have a friend that you wanted to play against. What do you guys think about that? Do you think rank would have ruined this game or been bad for this game? Post it down below. I will try one battle. I'm curious about the speed of the game on online. I'm also curious if bots are in online. Rambo, beginner, okay. I'd imagine there are bots, so I'm curious about the speed, like... How long does it take? Are, are there 30 second timers or what? Okay, we are going to put. Oh, I can start with Scyther. Ooh. No, no, no. I'll put Pinsir out there. I think Pinsir will just absolutely go crazy. Uh, Scyther. And I'll start. I wasn't realizing what it was making me do. I was being dumb. <laughs> the same thing happened at the start of the last game. I was like, wait a minute. I was not realizing what it wanted me to do. Execute another Pokeball. We'll play the Pokeball, baby! Okay, Rattata again. But the deck thinning is cool. I'll take it. Uh, not interested in playing anything. We'll just pass this energy. Oh, no energy turn one. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's kind of it, right? got a psychic deck there interesting what is this oh go okay i really like that art i also really like all the old school arts here so many old school arts here we both just have the exact same opener 11 cards in the deck okay oh double pokeball that's nice i would have liked that what's the power on the golette 60? 50, okay. But it costs three energy, though. So Double Horn can go crazy if I get lucky. That's my thing. Ooh, that Porygon? What? Oh, that's so good. I can't even read the card. Once during your turn, you may look at the top. I can barely read that. That is so good. That's so good. I like that a lot. It's got fire energies, huh? Whimsicott. There's that. Really wish I could play something I wanted to play. Just realized you could do this. That's a nice little thing. I don't really want to play too much here. I don't know if I have an executor in my deck or, or what. Like, I don't know what this deck... Do I have Pidgeot? Like, what do I have? I don't... I don't know. I'll end my turn there. They give you a 20 minute timer for the entire battle, by the way, it looks like. Interesting. Oh no, you get 20 minutes individually. I didn't realize I had one down there too. It's kind of hard to take 20 minutes, right? Like, it's kind of hard to do that. My guy is drawing his whole deck. How many cards you got left? Like six, seven? I assume if you deck out, you lose, right? Any day now, buddy. Okay. Hmm, okay. Oh, 
Let me play my professor first. See if we get something. Maybe before I can, to where I can change course. Ooh, I drew eradicate. I, I figured I would have one. Thankfully, I got it. Let's go for the eradicate. I was waiting for the uh, whimsicott play, but I mean, I might have to start moving differently because what if I get parasites going? You know. All right, let's attack. I actually have to flip the coin. That's great. <laughs> I thought it was going to automatically do it. I'll take it. I'm not mad. 50 is a good amount. He's not even putting any energy on this slowpoke, so he's probably going to retreat it here. He's been setting up the goal like in the back. Wait, what is that? I didn't even realize he evolved it. Shit, I didn't realize he evolved that thing back there. Hello, I didn't realize he was setting up like that on me. He's still an, another energy uh, away. Oh, he switched. He's going to keep setting up. And no retreat either. Interesting. Could you imagine getting double tails? <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to wait because I just spoke it into existence, bro. If you watched nearly 40 minutes of this video, you're the real one. You're an MVP, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new. And if you've already been here for a while, thank you so much. And if you already hit subscribe, also thank you very much. All right. Wait, is it random which energies he's getting? Is that why he couldn't set up the, the goaler completely? Is that what's happening there? I didn't realize that. I keep wanting to swipe. I feel like there should be a swipe right there. Why do I have to click the card? Oh! Knock it off! Don't try to play me! I wonder if he'll leave this far-fetched in. No way he will, right? Oh, also, you can't auto-battle in PvP. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, oh, there's the psychic energy he's looking for. It is randomized. That's interesting. I'm going to leave my pincer out there. Oh, well, there's the cottony I was looking for earlier. Go. Whew. I'll never get two, but it's all right. Whatever. At least I got one. That's all I need. All I need is one. All we need is one, baby. He's about to turn my world upside down with that psychic energy next turn. <laughs> I don't have the setup to take that thing down. That thing is going to sweep my entire team. I'm going to lose the game. I don't have anything beefy enough to eat 100 plus. There's no way I have anything beefy enough to do that. So he's just going to sweep me here. Because it also has 140 life. That's the key thing there, is it also has 140. Okay. I mean, I guess he could get, what, double tails, right? Uh, well, I don't have Parasect right now. I guess if I top deck it, I'll just retreat. And of course I top decked it. Good lord, man. Of course I did. So I'm just going to get swept here. Wait, I might be able to do all right here, though. 30 there. He takes out Scyther. 
That's a two point. No. Actually, Parasect is the only chance I have to win this, and I've got to not get double heads. If I can, if I can not get double heads, I can win this game. But that's it. I was trying to do some calculations really quick, but you know, there's if Scyther were stronger, that'd be different. But you know, could have gone to Eradicate. Not sure why I didn't, to be honest. Oh no, energy is why I didn't. But yeah. Oh, okay. One and one. Yeah, the good news is Parasect is just strong enough to live one of those hits. So unless he unless he gets double heads, Parasect should win this game. But knowing my luck, right? Bro's gonna mess around and easily get it. He's gonna get the double heads here, watch. Watch it, watch it happen. Watch it happen! Watch it happen! Setting aside the fact that if I had got double heads earlier too, I would have swept him much faster before you could set this up. But of course I couldn't do it. He's totally gonna get the double heads here. What's with the energy loading? He's like not playing anything else either. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just give me one. <laughs> Come on, dude. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen, bro. That's crazy. I knew that was about to happen, dude. I'm a little bit salty, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit salty. I won't even lie. Cause that game was right there for me. I'm a little bit salty, man. Also, like I said, if I had got double heads myself, I would've been fine. <laughs> All right, let's end this video off with some pulls. Let's see what we can do. I'm a little salty, man. I'm not gonna lie. Chat, I'm salty. I hurt my feelings, bro. Oh yeah, by the way, this game has trading. It's kind of neat, isn't it? Not something you'd ever expect to see in a gacha game. All right. Uh, let's open some Charizard. I have just enough for 10, baby. We are eating good. We are eating good. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they just gave me all 10, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. They just said, here's all 10, damn it. <laughs> oh, we're going to get 50 cards here. That's pretty nice. Oh, okay. Another EX. Hopefully that wasn't the only good drop we're going to get here. Oh, hey, let's go. A gold star me out. Let's go. Did I see something back there again? My champ. Okay. Okay. I thought I saw something back there, man. It's not like it's like actual cards where you like can like slide the card and see, right? But you know, I felt like there was something back there. Oh, Melmetal. 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 They look pretty good though. I like the silverish borders. That's pretty cool. Swan. What is this, pack five? We had some heat show up. Getting that gold Meowth was crazy. The rate on that is so low, I bet, right? It was one of those ones that's super duper low. A Charizard, okay, I'll take it. A lot of cards for the collection, at least. 
Wait, my collection should have just spiked a lot because I got a bunch of cards from that deck, right? Another EX Starmie. Okay. That's funny. Are they trying to tell me something? Are they trying to tell me to run a Starmie deck? Nah, Galad, I don't want to see you or, or Lurk at all. Oh, I love that Charmander art. I don't want to see no gold nothing. How about you go get your butt out of my video? How about that, Golette? Is that 10? Yeah, it's 10. Okay. We had some good stuff, though. We had some good stuff. Oh. A oh. hundred cards added? Nice. The number 80 brings to mind Tenacruel. Number 100 brings to mind Machop. I'm not going to swipe up on all these, right? Okay. Oh, man. That feels good. Oh, yeah, baby. That feels real good. Getting that Meowth was awesome. Oh, and they wanted me to rate it. After I pull something lucky, they want you to rate it. That's a typical thing. And he's like, you pull something nice. They're like, rate me, rate me. Now you got to date me. Display boards have been unlocked. And display board, you can place your favorite cards from the collection, blah, blah, blah. I think is what it said. I think it said blah, blah, blah. All cards you own are shown here. You can tap a card to enlarge it to view the information details. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put the Meowth up. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. And they get shared on the, on the little community thing. That's pretty cool. Sleek frame or an EV frame? We'll go with the sleek one. No, 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 not the parasect. Where's the meowth at? Where's old boy at? That Charmander is nice though. I don't want the meowth or the parasect. Leave. That's clean. I like that. That's clean. For the home screen, is it going to show on my home screen? Oh, it is up there in the corner. Okay. They have a binder feature. That's interesting. Unlocked at level six, though. Okay. That's fair. That's interesting, though. Got a thanks from Rambo. You get a reward for thanks? Shop tickets? Okay. I wonder if anything had changed with the Wonder Pigs. Can I run one really quick? Well, I was going to say there's something there because that one costs two. This one costs three for the Art at Kuno EX. Yeah, the thing you all, all you need to do is, unless you're looking for a specific card, is look for the cost because the cost goes up. What is it, a five for a pull like my Meowth? I bet it's crazy for one of those. I bet it's crazy for one of those. I bet it's nuts for one of those. All right, where are you at? Come to Pop Articuno. Don't be top left. Don't be top left. Because top left was my, was my first instinct. Do not be top left. Just don't be top left and we're cooking. I'm okay. Just don't be top left, I swear. I swear. Okay. Oh, that kind of hurts, too. It was right next to me. <laughs> I consider that one, too. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Just don't be top left, because that was my first instinct. Okay, all right. Well, I think that we had a lot of fun today, and this was a large success. I think we had a lot of awesome stuff. We pulled some great cards. If you want to check out the video, or if you want to see how to get the game so you can play the game from the video, again, check out my friend's video, which should be clickable on the screen right now. Also, subscribe for more. Make sure you help us hit our goal. Share the video with this video with your friends as well. And I'll see you all next time.